Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is a brief uh, PowerPoint on how to figure out work with problems dealing with average acceleration. Say that five times fast. Yeah, it's going to be a long day today. Uh, let's see. Get to my pen. Let's change pen color. Let's go with blue. So today we're looking at average acceleration. So when we look at, a, at the equation we're going to use, and now all the problems would deal with something like this, and we're dealing with acceleration, velocity, and time, and we're going to have to look for either acceleration, velocity, or time, either one of those three variables. Now, you have two sets of equations. Here. First, you've got acceleration is equal to v over t, change of velocity over the change in time. That's what v means. So this v, as you noticed earlier, is just change in. So this symbol makes this is still one term, one variable. And it's split out to VF minus VI with that's final minus initial and this is time minus minus initial. Now we've got the units for each term here, meters per second squared for acceleration, meters per second for velocity, and time is just seconds. And this is going to be important because this is what we need to have the answers in, either meters per second squared. If we're looking for velocity it's meters per second. If we're looking for time it's second. Now, hopefully that makes sense. So let's look at a problem. So we have a time with a time of 6.92 seconds. Uh, Miss Privolova of Russia holds the women's record for running 60 meters. And we're assuming that she run with a constant acceleration. All of this, we're looking at a constant acceleration no matter what we do. And this is important because this tells you what type of math you need to have. If I do not stress constant acceleration, or it's not assumed, but I tell you the, the acceleration is variable, we're using calculus. But since we're using constant acceleration, we can actually use um, algebra. And she crossed the finish line with a speed of 17.34 meters per second. Assuming she started at rest, this is important, this term. We want to know the magnitude of the acceleration, so we have acceleration. Acceleration is velocity over time. Here's velocity, here's time. So here's my time, here's my velocity. This is background. What I mean is, is that it's telling us something about the thing she did, make sure we have the answer in the right ballpark, but it has no bearing on how to solve it. It's just telling us what's happening. This is what we mean by background information. It's giving us a little bit of information about the experiment that we need to know but has it has no bearing on how to solve for the problem. All right, times in seconds, velocity is meters per second, so we're looking good, so we don't need anything. So this is what I want you to do on the test. Remember, acceleration is equal to change in velocity over change in time. Now, velocity initially, we come back up here, we started at rest, started, means that's where she, we, we began this, exa this uh, experiment. And it's at rest, meaning velocity zero. Final velocity is what the velocity is when she crossed the finish line, when we ended the experiment. That's 17.34. My initial time. Anytime we have a time and we want to know what the initial is, we're going to assume that it starts at zero. Unless told otherwise, but this is a pretty much a safe assumption. Final time, that's my 6.92 seconds. So v, VF minus VI, uh, excuse me, TF minus TI, since these are zero, of uh, change in velocity. It's going to be 17.34 meters per second, and my change in time is going to be 6.92. Remember, zeros are going to go away. So our acceleration is equal. We're looking for acceleration, so this is going to be a little bit easy. Our velocity is 17.34 meters per second. I'm not going to put the units down yet. The time is 6.92, and then just do the math. So if I look at this, look at my calculator, 
four divided by six point nine two. 17346.92, I get a value of 2.505, and I want to round that to the third digit, so I'm going to end up with 2.51 as my answer. Now the units, if we look, it's going to be meters per second squared, because that's my units for acceleration, and we'll check this. So we have velocity, which is meters per second, divided by second. Now, another way to look at this is meters per second times 1 over seconds. That's going to be meters over second squared. And the units match with the acceleration. And this is the right answer. So this is what I want to know. This is what I want to see on your exam paper. Everything above the blue line. If you have, again, if you have any questions, go ahead and see me during office hours, text, or email me, please. Thank you.